Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Um, I wanted to make this video and, I'll, and let it be uploaded on my birthday because first off, it's my birthday. Say happy birthday to me, I need it. Uh, secondly, because I wanted to showcase how much fun I've been having with Scarlet and Violet. Uh, I'm mainly gonna be talking about my VGC season because uh, I'm gonna say this out right already. TCG, I do play, but I mainly judge and help events here and there and set up streams and stuff. But I wanted to talk about me as a VGC player today. So, let's get started. First off, uh, we gotta talk about this. <coughs> it, only, it was only a week, but I, did fin I was able to uh, finish this game quite fast, honestly. Where I was able to collect the entire Pokedex as well. So, uh, first off, wanna mention that. Shoutouts to me. Well done, me. Secondly, this is uh, like kind of the schedule. We've got the London Open, Liverpool Regionals, Bochum Regionals, Utrecht Special Event, Malmo Regionals, Turin Special Event, and there was also EYC, which is here. So in London as well. So, first off, uh, I wanna, cause like this year has been an absolute blast and I need to talk about this as well. Like, I think this is cool. Aaron Cybertron Zeng used my team that I made like in the first week of uh, competitive. To me, this is incredible. Like the team, it's not good. Don't get me wrong. It's not a good team. Uh, and, like it's not a good team. But I look up to Cybertron. So like seeing this happen make me incredibly happy. So um, yeah, it kept me motivated to try and do my best and make some more teams. Because my first team, I wanted to make a heel team, and that's what I did. I made heel with Trick Room. Original, am I? Uh, thank you, Lot of Toast, as well, for helping me with this team. He was able to just provide everything that I needed in this regard. Um, but yeah, that's something I wanted to talk about. Secondly, we had some events as well. Uh, local events, but these were without CP, so we just did like a few uh, Battles there here and there. Uh, I got ninth place in the first one. Not so great But we have fun like look at that 15 people for our first uh, VGC tournament. I was incredibly stoked about that and we have done multiple more after that as well uh, I, I also started hosting online tours, which I accidentally won my own tour uh, which I was going to make a video about, but it's regulation one, so it's been like ages ago, so I feel like it's not that interesting anymore. But I really have fun with this team. It was just all in good, all really good fun, where I had option of Trick Room, but I wanted to use Skeletor, and I really like it. That's just fun. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, scammed it. Then we had Liverpool Regionals, so... Uh, we had Liverpool Regionals, which I could not attend, unfortunately. I was stuck at home, just being able to spectate everything, but I was able to spectate some Belgian players as well, uh, participating as well, and even looking at Billa's Twitter as well, to look at the top 16 here, uh, what's happening. The quality is not great right now, but it used to, you know, you take what you can get, right? Then... We, I was invited to go uh, participate with the World Heart Cup, which is just a competition just to participate and just make some money for charity. And I was able to work with Victory Road, and I was really happy with this. And I needed to thank the people as well uh, who are watching this, who have donated money, because I used a Dosh Moon in the end, and I was able to get out of my pool somehow and uh, play at least one more match after that. So I'm very happy with that, and we were able to collect quite a bit of money so thank you very much for that people and thank you Victory Road for this opportunity as well. And then we have Bokum Regionals. Bokum was my first event in quite a while because I did not like Dynamax personally but this was uh, a meta that I was enjoying and I was making a lot of people's teams. I even made the guy on the right here, uh, Kevin, love him, he's adorable by the way. Uh, he, we made him an Oricorio belly ball team and he was doing kicking ass as well. He ended up 6-3 as well, so quite proud of him. And this event was exactly the Bochum event three years ago, was the last one I was able to participate in. We only had five players for VGC. And look at the amount we have now. We had 21 players present from Belgium that were playing VGC. 
and I am incredibly happy that all the efforts that I tried going into putting in like a discord and everything and trying to make sure that like people have something to do like have a way to like play and everything like I I'm happy that that worked I'm just incredibly stoked that that worked so thank you everyone for keep playing VGC and let's keep playing as well uh, but yeah, a few pictures as well. Met a lot of nice people. We even had like a, a group picture as well with uh, quite a few Belgian people as well and honorary Belgians. Can't forget that. We always try to include some new people as well to have uh, honorary Belgian where you, you don't need to be Belgian to be Belgian. You know what? We'll just take you. It's incredibly fun and I'm so happy I got to meet so many new people from my first event and it was such a good event. Uh, this is my team that I used. Okay, let's move a bit to the left. Uh, which, Annihilate my asshole, Roaring Moon, Great Tusk, Talonflame, Golgo. You know, uh, I used this stream from Pengi, if I recall correctly. I even asked him, like, what were plays, because he used this in previous tournament. I really liked the way it looked and everything. And this, I ended up 6-3 with. And I'm still proud of that, because that was an incredible uh, event. I was so close to day two but i was able to get 40 points so i was still very happy with that afterwards honestly probably the best news this was incredible uh i got to be a caster for victory road for an eu tournament and i can't express how much hype this gave me because I've always wanted to do fixed streams for locals and try commentating for locals, but this was the first time I was able to go further and like actually try and provide for the community as well. And like, uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, I sucked probably at the first event, like, but like I enjoyed it. And all three gentlemen next to me are incredible, heartwarming people as well like charlie is fucking the goat costa is absolutely amazing like you can't don't get me wrong costa is just amazing and like seeing him being able to go to eyc to present there i was so happy for him like he he absolutely deserves it and i cannot phantom someone else uh, go, going there. Charlie had been able, was also new, but like he's been smashing every, uh, like the two events that he's done. And of course, Jamie Boyd, which is also small, small personal hero. Cause like, come on, Cottony in the regional and you win that. That's, you know, you gotta respect that, right? So that was incredible. Being able to be one of the casters and meeting all the other casters as well was so much fun and I cannot describe the feeling of that, being able to give it the opportunity for that. I, I'm just incredibly thankful to Victory Road for that. Uh, and also, so it was, Utrecht was also right close to me, so a lot of Belgian people and honorary Belgians as well in the event, so very happy that they shared like, some pictures as well. I, me also sharing some pictures here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, didn't play. And then we have EUIC. EUIC was very good. Like, I enjoyed it. I went with my girlfriend as well. I got to see a lot of people. And I was really trying to focus down and see if I could get 100 points. Unfortunately, I bubbled. I got 130th place and only 128 got points. Unfortunate. Meaning I missed out on 100 points by having bad matchups, which was incredible because I have to mention as well, um, it was devastating to see that I did not manage to get to 128 because I had some incredibly tough matchups, uh, which I really had to fight uh, like and survive and try to outplay my opponent. And uh, after the day, I cried. I did because I put in a lot of effort and I felt like uh, it wasn't shown, like I didn't get what I deserve, so to say. But honestly, afterwards I was thinking, maybe I could have done that better. Maybe I could have done that better. And, you know, I'm incredibly happy that I have the ability to play Pokemon uh, at these events. Because 
it made me incredibly happy that day as well to see another friend make day two for the first time. And I was incredibly proud of him. He was playing TCG, but Gilles Hendrix, I, I know, I, like, I'm so incredibly proud of him, and I gotta mention it. But, yeah, I, what I just wanted to say with this EYC is, like, it's okay to feel disappointed. It's okay to feel sad. Just keep going. It's alright. Like, I have been playing VGC since 2017, and this is only the my true breakout year, where I truly feel like I understand VGC, you know? But, anyway, probably because of open team sheets, let's be honest. Uh, this is also the team I use, so I used Annihilate Mouse Hold again. What else is new? Uh, but this time with a Fluttermane, and a Tinglu, and a Chiyu. Now, this was honestly just a good, a good fun team. Uh, Chiyu, uh, Chiyu Fluttermane was just incredibly good, and I loved playing Tinglu. This is probably my Fluttermane set that I have been going to time and time again. I have not changed... Flutter main sets from this. Um, I I have not changed my flutter main sets. Like Annihilate, Mouse Hold, Amoongus, Flutter Main, uh, Tenglu, Chiyu. Like I have not changed anything really with that flutter main. That flutter main is just the one I use. Uh, I will link teams down below by the way if people are interested. Uh, we've and then locals were in us. Super stoked, very happy. I was not. I'm not allowed to host them. I was very angry. I sent a few angry emails because they told me, yeah, we were looking at people that were active during the COVID season and that got me upset because I have managed to do quite a bit of stuff uh, during COVID times, which I'm gonna quickly show as well. Uh, yes, I've been watching Sinbad's clips because that's a good movie. Because like, look at, look at this. These are all clips of like uh, events that we have done in Belgium. Like I've done TCG, I've gone VGC. Like we've done, We I even hosted an Invitational and they said I didn't do enough uh, during COVID. So I was like, okay. So, a little bit insulted. It's fine. I'm over it, not completely. But we had our first VGC challenge and, our, uh, and by one, so very happy about that. Uh, I did terrible. I lost pretty much. Uh, I'm trying to see. Yeah, I got 8th place out of like 15 people, I believe. Um, so, terrible. I won 2-2. Uh, and one match I should have won. Definitely. But, yeah, sometimes luck happens, you know? And it's okay. Uh, but this was also a fun team that I used. And that was Back's Balance. I was just... Um, like, it's just... Uh, because I didn't know the name at the time, so it's just honestly Battlelands 2.0, but with a Backscalibur, and this Backscalibur has been putting in so much work. Like this team has been putting so much work for me uh, as well, because even though I wasn't able to win the first uh, Belgium uh, event, I was able to win the French one. <laughs> I even made a joke, got my mascot and my farming hat, and I actually farmed the points there. Funnily enough, we had three Belgians going there, all three Belgians got top four, and the fourth person in top four was also not a French guy. He was from Limburg, uh, from Luxembourg. So, pretty funny if you ask me. Uh, France just kicked our ass recently, so that's honestly fine. <laughs> but yeah, I was quite proud of that. Um, also went to a Dutch local, uh, where I got fifth place, which honestly uh, enjoyed that. I even faced off against the famous, uh, like the fam famous team without a Tatsugiri. He had a Shallows back then. He, uh, the Dunsparce team from Ivar Vlieger, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was really good. Like, the community there is incredible. Same for the French one. Like, definitely, if you are able to, visit them. They're incredible people. Uh, then, fun things as well. I got more opportunities to cast. I, I was able to uh, get on board with the UKIT draft, uh, where they are even, like, the players from the UK and... Ireland are able to play against each other and I was allowed to be one of the casters with them uh, Where I even made a small joke of saying uh, day 12 They still haven't known the, the, the people have cross bonds have accepted me as one of their own as making a gorilla joke But yeah, love them. Absolutely. Well, thank you for the opportunity there as well uh, Then I got another opportunity I was able to cast the VR April challenge an online challenge with Zoe and Shonali and I was incredibly stoked to have met them there. I was uh, happy that I could have met Shona there already 
to immediately when later uh, broken the ice immediately and Zoe is also an incredible person themselves they're incredibly funny I want to add as well like I absolutely love both of them uh, so thank you Victor Root, again for the opportunity and yeah this was the team from Bax Balance uh, then for Malmo I went to judge I lost EUIC for points and it was never my intention to get points for Worlds because I was never gonna go because it's too expensive and I am very, what you call, poor. <laughs> so I went to judge for Mammo Regional. So let's see where we are. So London Open wasn't there because that was Worlds. Uh, Liverpool wasn't there. Uh, Bochum, I was there. 6-3. Utrecht, special event, cast it. Hey. And now we're at Malmo uh, EUIC as well. Uh, went 6-3, no points, unfortunately. And then Malmo Regionals. Malmo Regionals, I just wanted to judge. And I had a fun picture that I wanted to share about a guy not even bringing a bag for his Switch. He brought his entire box. And I love that. I love this picture. I love the guy. It's incredibly funny. Uh, but yeah, it was. it's always good to go and judge. Because I am a judge for VG and TCG. Uh, I was able to judge a TCG event in Warsaw when there were no VGC events. And all, like all of these people are amazing, so to say. I am incredibly lucky to have met a lot of them. And I just want to shout out Nexus Ilya. Like, look at him. Look at us. We're cute. We're incredibly cute, all right? So, my one was great. Uh, this is just me showcasing a bit of our production value of our locals as well, which I'm incredibly proud of as well, of our community, uh, Pokeplay, which, uh, like, special shout outs to Wart as well, which has done the absolute impossible of making things look good as well. <laughs> um, I got another opportunity for it to cast! Yes, more! <laughs> It's a lot, I know, but uh, I was the, this time the wide league, which was quite fun. This tournament was super duper late for me. I'm not even gonna lie. It was like 3 in the morning for me, but I had incredibly fun. I believe I was together with Leafy Arrow uh, that we practiced and, and then with Supernova I actually cast it with and it was fun and I hope to be able to do it one time again because... Uh, the amount of effort they put into these tournaments, incredible. Definitely, if you're looking for online tournaments and the wide league is doing one, try to join. I generally do do want to say go there. It's good experience. You get good teams and stuff. You get your best of threes, sometimes best of ones. It's good practice. Uh, and then we're at the last event. We're at Turin special event. And I was asked again to cast. I'm, I'll be real. I was incredibly depressed after Utrecht because I think, I, I thought I absolutely bombed it. I did terrible. That's what I thought. Bec I'm I'm very afraid of watching my own videos and like listening to my voice. I hate that. I hate doing that. So this is why this is a long ass video of me just talking as well. And I'm never going to listen to it. And I'm just going to upload it just with music below it. That's it. <laughs> but... Being, a, being asked to come here again was an incredible, incredible... It just lifted my spirits. I was so happy that I got asked for this because um, I wanted to do better. And I feel I did way better than this. I absolutely feel like my commentating was way more on point and I absolutely kicked ass. And I want to shout out to the entire team as well. Ben, Shona and Lee which are all three amazing casters as well. And honestly, I can shout out every caster of Victory Road. Like, and Victory Road themselves. I want to say it. Victory Road absolutely deserves everything. Like, oh my god. These people have passion for the game and are able to put in so much effort, elbow grease and everything, to make everything look so great. The European strings have never looked so good. Like... Bless these people. If we did not have them, VGC would not be thriving as it is. Certainly not in Europe. So, thank you. Um, yeah, that's me kind of getting angry. Um, and this is me massaging Ben for our finals as well. <laughs> Which I was recorded because uh, I did not notice. But this is uh, also just an end post of me just talking about the year. 
as well, being able to judge, seeing friends, and just the incredible opportunities that I've been given as well uh, with these people. And uh, last meme for from Shona. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then we did our last Belgium tournament as well in Crobat Slayer. Look at me being happy. Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> I love the two guys on the right, uh, just being covered by the beamer. Um, and yeah. Oh, wait, I closed that. Oops. No, it's not. Oops. All right. Um, but I was also... I played well there. I got second, I believe. I recently... Oh, no. Bel Belgium VGC. I was about to say, where did I post it? But it was Belgium VGC that did. Uh, so I got second. And this time with Francesco Luigi's Pardini's team, which he used in um, Turin. And... Uh, very fun team, very enjoyable. So definitely recommend if you want to use it, you can. But we're on to regulation D anyway, so honestly, not a lot of use you can get out of it. <laughs> All right, but jokes aside, victory route, absolutely blessed. I, I already ranted about them and I'm gonna end this video now. Um, thank you very much for sticking with me. If you were here, somewhere, anywhere, like at an event or you talk to me online. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You absolutely made my year a happy one. So thank you for that. And now we're going to end it with the last clip of, of course, Ben, because this is how I'm excited I am to get in the next season of 2024. I have to unmute as well. <laughs> Here comes Ben Kiriakou. <laughs> <laughs> <Kiriakou. laughs> so thank you very much. Let's see each other in the next season as well. Bye.